now i am going to add some demo data in this table in order to add the demo data i am going to my editor and i will create a cedar file in order to create a cedar i am going to terminal and here i am going to create a cedar so in order to create a cedar my command is php artisan make cedar and then i will just give a cedar name as I am going to add the demo data into the users table, so I am going to call it user cedar. Okay, so I am going to press enter, and you will see that into the cedars folder a new file is created that is called the user cedar.php. So this is my user cedar file. Okay, so here I will write the uh, codes to add the information into the users table i am here into the top going to call use db i am just going to make it very simple so db table like this so here into the users table i will add the information so i call the users and then i am going to call the insert method into the insert method i am going to add some information as i will add the multiple information so here i am going uh, to create like this so first is name so what will be the admin name for example the first user is admin so i am going to give here the name admin and then another field is email so here i am going to give admin admin at the rate of gmail.com this is the email address another important field is password so i am going to give here uh, the password and the password by default is for example big crypt like this or you can also use the hash technique hash make uh, both will be okay here so here i am going to give the password one two three four and this is the password if i go to the table you will see that there is name email email verify that this is not needed the default role is status remember token okay so here you will see that there is a role a status as by default the status will be inactive uh, here by default inactive okay i will make it active afterwards no problem and there is a role you see that admin customer vendor so here i am going to set up the role for example the first person role is admin so here i am going to give here the name admin i do not need to add any other information okay this is okay name email password and role i am going to copy this information and add another entry and the second user will be for example vendor and here the email will be vendor at the rate of gmail.com and the role will be vendor and the third one is customer so i am going to give the username customer and here is customer at the rate of gmail.com and the role is customer okay so my task is completed here and you will see there is another file that is database cedar.php i am going to open that file now and here i will just run the user cedar this file so here i will just call the user cedar class like this so if you call like this uh, i am going to give here this okay so user cedar uh, then double colon class my task is done i just link uh, that if i call the php addition db cedar, then automatically the by default that this cedar file that means database cedar will run and this file will call the user cedar file and when it will call the user cedar file it will just insert the data into the table so in the terminal i am just going to run php artisan db seed enter you see that the seeding database is completed the running and this is done if i now go to this table user table and i am going to refresh this table you will see that total three users are added here and the password is encrypted you see email verified that is null 
emails are there and all their roles are coming here i will work with a status letter so i am not going to change anything now but if you want you can also going uh, to change it for example if i want to change this status i can make it active from here i select active okay this is active this one i am going to make it active also and the third one is active also so this is okay so my task is done and you see all the data are inserted into the user's table successfully now i will work with this information when i will log in to this system